That breaking news here at noon. Live pictures from Live Copter 3 over San Joaquin County. Flooding rescues underway. There you can see two rescue workers. This is in a campo near Woodbridge no Street. IFB. No. And Highway 99 is partially closed. So you can see they've got the raft out there. You can see they're walking through the flood waters. And uh, you can see the post, the, the mailbox right there. So this is someone's street. This is their house. So you can see the SUV on the left. There are three rescue crews right there, literally walking down what was a street which looks more like a river right now. Houses on either side and as they zoom out they can show you and look at the house in the middle on its own little island there in the Y actually in this little court of of this neighborhood. Some trash cans there off in the distance but yeah that looks like uh, it's a little lake there. Not what you want to see for in this mobile home park right now. You can see it's all flooded. That's the center area of that mobile home park so they are in there and doing rescues at this time. If rescue are needed. A lot of those cars, you can see how high the water is. And look at that. So usually with these mobile homes, they have stairs that go up. They're elevated. But you can see on that light post, it's almost all the way to the top of it. So they're walking through here, walking down the streets of this mobile home park, making sure everyone is okay, seeing if everyone, uh, if anyone needs to be rescued right now. Look at how high the water is on that vehicle right there. That's not good. And look at how high it is on these palm trees. That's a Mexican fan palm. It's going pretty high on that. Of course, we don't know how tall it is, but it's tall enough to go over the top of that home. They're going pretty slow here. We don't see anyone in their raft at this time, so that means they don't have anyone that they rescued recently there. But you can see that entire park is covered. That truck right there just stalled in the middle of the street. Doesn't look like anyone's inside that red truck. Uh, but it is just installed there right in the middle of the street. This is again in a campo. These live pictures exclusively from Live Copter 3. A lot of this rain really came down earlier today. San Joaquin County really got slammed. And meteorologist Eileen Javor is joining me here. As yeah. we continue to look at these live pictures, Eileen, we could go back to the live yeah, pictures if can. you want. Because um, this really for you is the first time that you are seeing the damage from what we saw on radar. Yeah, so last night there was, uh, there was water even into this mobile home park at that time. Then we got the torrential mm -hmm. rain in the overnight more than an inch of rain easily in the Acampo area. And if you're familiar with this area, it is fairly close to the McCalmney River. We're just curious how this is all flooding and backing up. But as you w take the wide view there, notice that flooding extends even onto the other side of that neighborhood. So a wide view here shows a lot of water just has collected in this area of San Joaquin County. And again, just flooding some of these uh, agricultural areas. There's just so much water, Lisa, because this area not only saw the heavy rain last night, but throughout the weekend there were bouts of heavy rain, especially Saturday. And, and San Joaquin County in particular, Lee, you were telling me earlier, just really got hammered. They did. Overnight, I have not seen Doppler light up like this in a long time in terms of these bands of rain. It wasn't just a, a thunderstorm that went right, through. Right. It was bands and bands of rain that sat over parts of San Joaquin County for several hours in the wee hours of the morning, just dumping those rains at about a quarter to a third to even at times nearly a half inch per hour. And as you're seeing, Eileen, it's not just the mobile home park that is flooded. The other homes that are nearby also flooded there. And it looks like maybe even some farmland as well, which is not as concerning when it's farmland. But, you know, this is uh, homes that are flooded. And you can see a truck right there trying to pump some of that water out. That's, yeah, that's right. And uh, we know that Highway 4 uh, east and around the Farmington area east of Stockton is closed because of flooding there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where some creeks kind of diverge and come close together. So it's a low lying area. Uh, we know also out towards Highway 26, which I'm going to talk about in just a bit, just near Linden. Uh, we know that the Mormon Slough at Balada is also quite swelled this uh, this midday. Uh, that's where Duck Creek comes in. That's where the Calaveras River is. We know that that area is showing signs that it's uh, going into more of that flood stage. And just look at the widespread water. Mm -hmm. It just has nowhere to go because we are so saturated. We have seen about three to five inches of rain in just four Four days or so in this area. Wow. And so and considering before those four days, we had nine inches of rain yep. in the last in the prior 18 days in the state of California, a little more than nine here in our area. So you take that nine and then you add four. How many more in just the last four days? Uh, three to five. It's three or so around the 99 corridor. Right. And then as you head east, it's about five out towards Farmington. 
since Friday. If you remember, Thursday was dry. Friday, mm -hmm. the rain picked back up. We had torrential downpours with thunderstorms, severe weather, active weather on Saturday. And then again, yesterday was a little more hit and miss during the day, but then it really filled in last night and we got those downpours in the overnight. Are we looking at 99 right here? Backed yeah, up? I was just waiting to see if we could see why it's backed up right now. Oh, Wait, oh, that's why, because there's flooding. There's flooding on 99 and you can see it's pretty clearly there uh, going from that frontage road and, uh, and, and we're seeing it here on 99. That big rig making it through okay, but people really taking it slow right there. It looks like it, it was an off ramp that that uh, is, is, was flooded, so they've closed one lane of Highway 99. Of course, that's gonna create some backup as you're seeing right here, because people are having to go at a snail's pace. It's nice to be able to give you these, these live pictures. Um, so those are people yeah. that looks like they're taking the frontage road, I should say, off of 99, and then just trying to, to take it slow there as they're making their way through this area. Yeah, so it's probably from around Turner Road all the way up to about Peltier. Mm -hmm. um, that it's compromised at least by some water along 99. Yeah, and for people who were able to get off, there was one exit there, people were able to get off, but for others, they are stuck. Look at how far this traffic stretches. Look at how far this goes. Which direction of 99 is this? It's hard it to tell be, when it's high noon. Uh, I think that's northbound. Okay, if this I'm, would be the... Yeah, north. so that would mean on the eastern side of 99, they're seeing that high water and can only get by, it looks like, at, at one lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, look at that. The whole lane is completely, the number two lane, completely covered with water right there. Um, and if you're familiar with this area, I know that, that house very well with those palm trees on the right. It's just a gorgeous home, and they have the palms lining the, the driveway to the home. But that is all flooded around there, and that has gone up onto the highway. And look at the damage there. Eileen, you can see there are some crops there, too. Um, I can't tell. Can you tell? Are those? Are the, is that a vineyard, Eileen? Could be. Could be. Uh, this area, it's the Lodi area, Woodbridge, known for its, you know, wine grapes. Um, this is near the McCulmney River, so I believe that this is probably some of the water that's trying to flow its way down through the drainage of the mm -hmm. McCulmney River, mm -hmm. near and around the Woodbridge area, a Campo. Um, I'm not exactly sure where we are on 99, but I would assume that it's again somewhere crossing and near the McCulmney River mm -hmm. um, because that would be the lowest spot there that would be draining like that. Yeah, hard to see what exit that is, but um, that big rig was able to lead that the way and, and get, get through. Uh, there's a line, long line of cars behind that big rig uh, now that are making their way in the number one lane very slowly. And as we back it up, you'll be able to see, I mean, it's, it's for at least a mile, this backup right now. And we believe this is the northbound direction and again as we've mentioned this is near Woodwood Woodbridge Road but that's um, pretty much all we can tell from this vantage point. I believe that that overpass might have been Turner okay that's um, really good perspective because it would go Turner then the McCulmney River and as you head north mm -hmm. you'd eventually um, get to the Woodbridge Road area and then eventually if you head north you'd go to Peltier um, if I'm there's Turner. Yep, you were okay. That, that this, this is a different exit, but yes, you were right. You're right in the the exact area. So there's Turner, where some people it looks like we're able to get off. Um, and wow, look at that car. So in the if water. you're just joining us, mm -hmm. yeah, this this is basically Highway 99 going between Lodi, Acampo, and then Galtus to the north. Mm -hmm. So this flooding likely is from the drainage of the McCulmney River. Okay. Um, and the Benson Ferry, uh, they have a gauge that's downstream that kind of meets up with the Deer Creek and Kasumnis, um drainage. It's still expected at least forecast to stay below flood stage, but if we're seeing water like this, I wouldn't be surprised if it has to be updated um, a little bit better as it meets up again with all the water that's coming down the Kasumnis River because we know at Michigan Bar at the Kasumnis River, it is cresting now over the next few hours, just about at flood stage at 12 feet. So that's water upstream. That's all got to come downstream. Oh man! So, so we that's know that, not good. Yeah. So we know at the Wilton Bridge, usually when that happens, uh, we get a flood stage of about 12 feet. It comes close to that bridge at Wilton mm -hmm. um, at 12 feet. We know that it 
kind of floods more of the houses and the and the roads and such when it goes mm -hmm. past 13 feet. So that's not predicted. But again, some more water flowing down through Wilton in the next 12 hours and more water flowing down the McCullumney as well. Okay. All that rain today. So Eileen, with everything that you know and what you're saying, if you lived in one of these areas, what what would you do if we've got an, if we've got you know a couple of hours? to do something to make a move, what would you be doing right now? Um, I would suspect that some spots it will raise a little bit more, but not in a very quick pace like we see the creeks and such rise. Mm -hmm. But would you be, would you leave your, would you, you know, would you leave or would you like pack stuff to if leave? If I or? was ordered to, yes. Right. Of would course, you just be getting ready those. right now though? Maybe. <laughs> I'm maybe the most paranoid person around. So <laughs> I'm probably the wrong person now, to even again, ask. I would probably be packing though because you perspective, think perspective. This yeah. we had Orco there yesterday, right. and it was flooded in this mobile home park already. Right. So we know that this is. But it was It was only up to his ankles, about right. It was, I believe that in the background he was up to his like you know calves or something with the uh -huh, water, but uh -huh. behind him it was much deeper to hip. Uh, depth or so, I believe. So, you know, again, we're definitely seeing more water in this area than we did 24 hours ago because we right. saw more than an inch of rain throughout San Joaquin County in a short amount of time this morning compared to, you know, we short, saw it in about 12 hours. And well, then and then what's going to happen in the next 12 hours or so? So we'll likely see some of this water continue down the McCullumney. And again, I don't know if that's the McCullumney that's actually flooding this particular mobile home site mm -hmm. or if it's a backed up kind of system that's not allowing to drain and mm -hmm. so forth. But again, this is in a lower spot of San Joaquin County mm -hmm. where the McCullany River has its drainage. It really doesn't take much to flood an entire street. I tell you what, in our court where we have no real flooding concerns, I mean, just one clogged, one or two clogged drains and not even that you know, bad with just one layer of leaves. And we had a lake in our court. Um, and then it's pretty fascinating, once you get it unclogged, how fast everything can drain. So, um, you know, Eileen suspects it could be overflow from the McCallum River, but like she said, she doesn't know for sure. I'm and, not sure and it could know. just be something that's clogged that caused you know, a lot of this. You just yeah, know, you just don't know at this point. What we do know is there is a lot of flooding and we're happy to be able to bring you these exclusive live pictures from Live Copter 3. The only way you can see all of this and look at the backup to all of these drivers. A lot of people do have the day off for the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, but a lot of people were using this day as a travel day. And uh, this is the northbound direction right here. Again, this is between the Lodi Galt area uh, in a campo in San Joaquin County where people are going very very, very slow because the number two lane of 99 is blocked by flood waters. They're able to get by in that number one lane. That's the lane that's closest to the median. And uh, again, there's just a lot of backup. It's still slow going and no word on how long it will take them to uh, get that water off 99. But again, people are able to move through in one lane just very slowly. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with your extended forecast with meteorologist Eileen Javor.